Hello everyone and welcome back to Automation. So in today's episode we're going to be maintaining the theme from the previous video of building a, well, a powerful engine rear wheel drive car that can go and go in a straight line. But instead of a drag car with a three cylinder we're going to be building a V8 in a muscle car body. So as you can see I've already decided to pick out the um, 1965 coupe. Um, the reason for this is we're going to be building something similar to the um, 1969 Pontiac Firebird. Um, this is a well, well, it's gone now. Oh, there we go. It's got a similar look to it, but we're going to obviously be building our um, own style onto it. So we're going to stick with the Century. We're going to stick with a bit of corrosion resistant steel on it. Um, I don't know. I would have thought they would have had something like a ladder. They probably should have a light truck, to be honest. Um, it'll be front reverse, obviously. Um, I'm not sure. I have a feeling they had. Um, Double wishbone on the front, but of course, as with all goods, muscle cars, especially from the era, we've got any springs in the back. Plenty of power, they just couldn't use it. So for the new engine, we're going to be building something similar to an LS engine. And for those of you who don't know cars, basically it's they're just big apple V8s. Um, cast iron and they have uh, push rods. Again stick with the cast iron head or the displacement we're going to be pushing up to a nice roughly 5.6 5.8 litre I think I'm looking for roughly around that um, I think that's us good there right for the crank I'm going to go forged we will probably get away with heavy duty forge and just forged here I'm going to ignore this for now we're hopefully going to stick with an actually aspirated. We shouldn't need any turbochargers in this. Um, we do have an injection, which is quite impressive. Um, and this will run on regular leaded fuel. Um, if we push that up to about 6200 for now, we'll see where that takes us and stick with the tubular exhaust. Uh, we'll want dual, obviously, and a straight through muffler with the dual muffler in the second. It's usually decent enough. Now if we put up the fuel to try and get rid of that knocking. 175 horsepower. Alright, I have a lot of valve float there. If we can adjust the... There we go. Oh, that is a really aggressive cam profile. Yeah, that was the issue with push rods. They never really liked to rev. 165 horsepower. Yeah. We're going to need the turbocharger. Although it is running rich, which isn't helping us. Oh! Oh, we might get away with it so far. Right, pushing compression up. I'm aiming for about 330, maybe 360 horsepower. We shouldn't need much more than that. It's old American muscle. They were never really that powerful, realistically speaking. Uh, what's your issue? Are we running? Engine is knocking. Hmm, I wonder if we that down. Being increased fuel again, big American muscle. It's not really designed to be efficient. And it's running too rich. Gosh, this is going to be a nightmare to tune. Right, 255. I think we're going to need a turbo on this. Uh, twin turbo setup, as you would expect. Oh, what we have here might just be enough if I pull compression down here. Uh, put this to perform. Performance fuel economy? Race. Yeah, I can work with race. Alright. 300 odd horsepower isn't too bad. What's limiting us? Absolutely nothing. We're running too rich. 304 horsepower isn't too bad. Again, I'm not going to get away with any more of that. Hmm. Interesting. We seem to be really struggling to get that decent last bit of horsepower. Which obviously it's not hard, you could push probably close to a thousand horsepower in this, but we're trying to do it semi-realistically. Semi the issue is I'm trying to work with what would normally be a naturally aspirated engine that could... You know what, I think we're just going to have to move away from our push rods and go on to a direct acting overhead. There we go, there's the part we're looking for. Now this is the sort of power you would normally expect from uh, the 
thingy engine, the LS engine, with its push rods because it's been that well optimized engine, but again, automation doesn't really work that way. 384 horsepower, I think we can pull the max boost down a bit, reduce that power. We don't need quite that much. 364. Yeah, I can work with that. Alright, let's see how this sounds. Hmm. That's a nice sound engine. Alright. Oh, wow. There's more of a slope behind that than I thought. I think we can make it work to our advantage. With a wee bit of, um, well, maybe. Yeah, we'll take that one, mate. Mmm, the bike's wee bit. The bike's quite big as it is. Ah! Ah! That's. could be an issue. Why are you transversely mounted? I thought you should be long. Shouldn't they mount it? Ah! We fixed the boo boo. It's okay. My bad! Alright, put the bike on the bonnet back on. You know what? Gives us an opportunity to put a hood vent on it. What do we want? What do we want? Uh, kind of, do we want something like that? Or do we want something a wee bit more? I think we want something more like to that. Something true American muscle. Yeah, I'm liking that. That works well. Alright. Ooh, and it comes with wing mirrors. A bit small on it, but fine. We'll forgive it this time. Right. Put on the door, boys. Is that where you'd find it? Probably. I don't really know. It should be fine. Alright, off to the headlights. Now, the Firebird had a couple of square, quite square headlights. Something more along this line here. I had two of them at the front. Uh, what's this? Is the. That's not. What is this it? That looks a bit more. That's it, but it's terrible. We can't see through that foot. Yeah, sure, we'll go with that. Yeah. Oh, well, actually, that works quite nicely. I'm liking that. Okay, okay, we can work with this. All right, grills. We are in 1975, apparently, so what we need is a lot of chrome. Oh, that's off the, uh, I forget what you call it now. That 2012 star up electric car, I think. Possibly. Maybe not. Now I think about that, I might be wrong. Details. All right. If we take something like this and burr it, make it bigger, we fill in the front like so. How does that look? Uh, expand it a bit. That's not too bad. I quite like that, I have to admit. You know, I'm starting to like the way this car's going. Alright. In Tainan, we're going to keep a rough look at the old car. We're going to want these down here. So flip. Flip. Thank you. Philip. Now these are a bit bigger than the um, Firebird has. But you know what? And I think we'll stick with that. That one's quite bit in there. Yeah. Maybe mm, we'll keep them down a bit. Yeah, alright, if you don't look at it too much it's not too bad actually. Right, what do we want on the side? First off, obviously we want door handles. And the type of door handles we want are big chrome things. Because as we said, this is the 70s and everything had to be chrome, early 70s. That's not too bad if we do that. And ignore it, that's perfectly fine. Um, Mirrors we have. Move into the back now. This is where I'm not quite sure what I want to do. Tell you what. Alright everyone, a very welcome back. 
So as you can see I have um, done a few things to this car since you've been gone. Um, the biggest note's the back. Um, so what I've done is I've added these um, two little long tail lights on either side that the Firebird had and I also noticed that the wing it had was almost identical to the one in the automation based game. And the Firebird as far as I can tell never actually came with exhausts but us here of course we need um, nice exhausts and I have put chrome absolutely everywhere because well we say we built it 75 this is realistically a late 60s early 70s car and as we know everything at that time was doused in ridiculous volumes of chrome so that's what we've done here um, I tightened up the headlights a wee bit I made these ones slightly smaller uh, added number plate oh that reminds me of no number plate on the back that's good notice alright, the police won't see it when you're running for them anyway. And I think that's it. Obviously I'll always on. Oh, and I changed out the door handles. Just to get a wee bit more chrome on them. And I think that's pretty much what's changed. Alright, moving on. Um, rear wheel drive, obviously, automatic. Um, again, 4 speed. The only realistic speed you should have in the gearbox of this. You shouldn't need much more than that. Um, open diff, again. With all the power, but you have no way to put it to the ground. Um, we will go for radials. Uh, maybe stick with mediums for now. We're going to want fairly big rear tyres. Oh, actually, you know what? The Firebirds. The Firebirds, I think, are even bigger than that. Um, tyre size. Beer up. Uh, they wouldn't be too big. We'll, give them, we'll be generous with 16 inches. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, I'm scared to touch this in case it decides to kill me. I think we got away with that. Usually, when you touch that, it destroys the entirety of the styling. But I think it's it's been kind to us today. All right. Um, alloy wheels. They clearly had them back in the seventies. Um, front brakes will be solid disc two piston and the rear I think we'll get away with drum brakes uh, pad type yeah we're not spending too much money on this no under tray um, ooh, there's a front wing don't know where the front wing is but apparently there is but we're not going to worry too much about that interior um these were they were reasonably nice yeah we'll go for that um, hydraulic steering no safety because that just adds weight. Uh, springs standard twin tube. How are we looking? 99.7% drivability. That's quite impressive actually. Uh, oh, oh gosh. Um, what's our issue? Rear brakes are. Might have to go solid discs. I need vented discs. No, we'll get away with them. These are going to be. I have to keep in mind there's no ABS in these either. That's not terrible there. Well, it's a good The dumpers are hard. Yes, the dumpers, as you said, them are always hard. So I'm sure the rear dumpers are still hard. Ah, thank you. And the rear tires are white, although that said, mm, I wonder how the wheel spin is. 8.1. Oh, beautiful. Um. Wide for the chosen combined. We might even get away with just a little bit. 1.9%. It's still not happening, but that's not too bad. Um, I will put these up a wee bit to help with an understeer. And overall, I'm really happy with this turned out. Uh, one last thing I do want to do though is I want to change the paintwork. And the reason for that is. Oh, let's not do that. Oh no. Oh no, what have I done? Oh, the monstrosity. Uh, give me chrome back again, please. Thank you. Um, we want to change the ball. This one? Yes. This one? Ah. Oh. Well, we're about to suffer. But that's actually not far off the colour I want. Um, the reason is one of my favourite cars I've already mentioned of all time is a Firebird, but also. In the dark olive green, although that's uh, if we put low shine on. This is risky because this is really nice, but it could turn out terrible in BMG. And even then, I would almost take it. 
Ooh, ooh, I like that. Yes, yes. Let's go for that. Yeah. All right. Final problem. Um, trim. We want you to paint like that. That's pretty. Oh, is it? Um, ah, specifically. There we go. Beautiful. That's not too bad. I might look at it. No, actually, I was going to put. I was going to put crop around the the lights. But I think it's it's the black background a lot nicer. Okay. I'm like the way this looks. And I think it seems to be pretty decent. You know what? I'm quite happy with this 1.8 tons. That's that's pretty good for a big muscle car. You know what? I really like this. This is possibly one of the nicest builds I think I've done in automation. Hmm. Alright then. Tell you what. There you go, you look there. 364 horsepower and 1.8 tons. What's our not to 60? Does it say? Probably somewhere. But if it doesn't tell us. <laughs> of course it doesn't. I know it does somewhere. What did you tell? <gasps> not not 200. That's us. 9.6 seconds. In true American style. It is not fast in the slightest. But no worries. Right, I will export this to BMG and I will see you very soon. Alright everyone, welcome back to BMNG Drive. Um, this is my second time recording this, and the reason being that is my computer is six years old. Now six years ago, it was pretty good. I could run CryEngine at high settings. Unfortunately, six years on, something like BeamNG is a little more demanding. And while it's fine for me playing, trying to get a, a record it at more than a frame rate of about five a second means unfortunately we need to sit in slightly low resolution graphics like this. But um, moving on to the car, I'm I'm very pleased with the way this has turned out. Um, the green's a little cartoonish, as can be with um, those cars when they're um, exported from automation. But that said, I'm very impressed with the way the headlights have come out. The uh, you can see my mouse ship. Um, these headlights here looked uh, they looked a wee bit weird in automation, but they came out beautifully in BMG. Um, everything else is well the way you'd expect. Um, moving on to the way it drives. It, well, it drives like American Muscle. It's big, it's British, it doesn't handle, and it burns, well, one tyre. It really does a one tyre fire, alright. But, that said, point it in a straight line and punch it. It makes a lot of noise, the car shakes, and it could be outrun by any small hatchback. Again, like you would expect from big American Muscle. Um, really? Oh gosh, and understeer is like an absolute monster. And I don't think we'll make it up this hill because I don't think we've got the traction to do so. Yeah, this isn't spin tires. We don't have the drill. But yes, I am. I actually really, really impressed with this turned out. And as I said previously, a couple of times, the Firebird is one of my bucket list cars. It's something I would really, really love to own at some point. And to have one that, well, this is probably the way I expect the Firebird to drive. Um, to have it suddenly built it, I am. I have to admit, I'm really enjoying this car. <laughs> it's actually putting the spine in. Oh gosh, this thing does not steer them. Yeah, um, hello Beach, we're coming to see you now. Yeah, I don't think we're going to land that. Although the engine looks nice, and you see those little turbos. But um, yeah, so that's been um, that's been the Firebird. Um, can I zoom in? No. Yeah, there's the there's engine. That's been the Firebird. Um, thank you all so much for watching, and hopefully I will see you in the next one.